So if you're going to go out and build an app using a no-code tool, you're typically going to be using Firebase. Maybe you're going to be using Firestore or Realtime DB, or some people might be interested in using something like Superbase. But did you know there are tons and tons of other backend storage tools and all kinds of backend tools that you can use right now. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of these tools. These are going to be storage tools. These are going to be infrastructure tools, but all of these tools are very, very powerful and you can start using them today with the apps that you are probably building now or maybe interested in building in the future. Now, before we get started, as always, all the resources that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video, I'm going to have more information on them on my Patreon community. And so you're going to see a link to it in the description below the video. Now, the first tool that I want to talk about in today's video is Pocketbase. Now, Pocketbase is an incredible tool. It's an open source backend for your next SaaS and mobile app in one file. Okay. And I think of Pocketbase as that third base, right? So we have Firebase, we have Superbase, and then we have Pocketbase. Now, what's so unique about Pocketbase? Well, it's open source, right? So you can see all the source on GitHub and it's free. Now, let me show you how it looks, right? There's a live demo here. So if we click on this live demo, you can see it, right? You have your collections, right? Kind of like Firebase collections. You have users, you have messages, you have you have reports as well. It's all very, very fast, uh, very like instant, right? If I click on users, I can create a new record. There's my screen right here. And there's also an API preview, right? Which is the way you're going to be interacting with Pocketbase from your app, right? So if you click here, you're going to see all the methods, right? All the things that you can do, creating collections, all the authentication stuff. And then it has JavaScript and Dart. Now, obviously, if you're going to be using something like Flutterflow, you are interested in Dart because Dart is the language that Flutterflow uses and really what Flutterflow is built in. And so if you click on Dart, you're going to see kind of all the code that you need to do. And fortunately, if you head over to pop.dev and search for Pocketbase, you're going to see a whole Pocketbase Dart SDK that you can use as a custom widget inside of your Flutterflow app and it has 100 likes, 91% popularity. And so if you want this solution, uh, this is going to be a low code solution, but it's very, very doable with a tool such as Flutterflow. The only catch with Pocketbase is that you got to host it yourself. And that's actually very, very simple. So if you go into their, their fact and you can read more about it, right? If you're looking for a free option, I recommend fly.o and following this example guide. And so you can take this whole app and you just got to host it somewhere and you're going to have it pretty much for free. So definitely check out Pocketbase if you get a chance. The next tool I want to talk about is Enhost, right? And this is what they say, build apps users love. Enhost is an open source backend and development platform that enables developers to build and scale their web and mobile apps. Okay. And so this is kind of the screen right here, right? So if you click over here to their products menu, you can see that they give you database, GraphQL, auth, storage, and functions. And these are pretty much analogous offerings to Firebase, right? So Firebase gives you a lot of this, uh, and you're getting this as well, except Firebase does not give you a GraphQL. So you have slightly different offerings, right? And if you scroll down, you're going to see there's more kind of description about each of these products that they offer. They give you a Postgres database, GraphQL, Hasura, function storage, all. So a lot of very, very, very interesting things, right? Feature packed, a lot of great stuff. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that they have an SDK in different platforms, different for different languages, for different platforms. And one of these platforms is Flutter. And what that means is that you can essentially leverage this end host. You can integrate it into your app, but that's going to be probably done as a custom widget for Flutter as well. So definitely check it out, have a look and see if it fits your particular app use case. Now, the next backend service I want to talk about is called Convex. Okay. It's available at convex.dev. 
and you can build in minutes, scale forever. Convex is the backend application platform with everything you need to build your product. Convex functions a database, file storage, scheduling, search, and real-time updates fit together seamlessly and are accessible from client libraries for your favorite environment, okay? So this is also very, very similar to kind of what Firebase gives you. Uh, they give you, they also give you search, file storage, scheduling. So a lot of these things that um, Firebase gives you, search could be something extra because Firebase doesn't give you this kind of search, search capability. So if you scroll down, you can kind of see how it works. You can kind of get a better understanding of what it's meant to do. Next, you can click on docs here to kind of learn more about it. And you can kind of read about Convex versus Firebase, Convex versus Relational Database. You can kind of read the comparison. You can take a look at all of their offerings here, and then you can click on client libraries, right? Take a look at clients or failing that you can take a look at API references, right? Because remember, if you don't have, a, if the tool that you want to use does not have like a Flutter or a Dart SDK, you can always use an API, right? All no code tools support APIs. Flutterflow is no exception. So here you have an API. Uh, for browser, schema, server, et cetera, et cetera. There's an HTTP a a API as well, uh, streaming, stuff like that. So if you're interested in using this tool, you should not have any issues integrating this tool into your app. The next tool I want to talk about is a lean cloud and it's available at leancloud.app. And this is serverless cloud for lightning fast development, right? So if you scroll down, you can kind of see what they're doing right database lean engine instant messaging even have some solution for games and they say that they support all major platforms we provide native sdk for all major platforms to facilitate integration and reduce time to market and so here you have the sdks in all main languages like java javascript objective c swift c sharp python and php but failing that, you also have an HTTP REST interface, right? If you click on curl right here, you can see that you can interact with it using good old HTTP that's supported by pretty much all no-code app builders and Flutterflow as well. So you can kind of learn more about it, compare plans, view pricing. And the most important thing here is you can take a look at it and see what do they offer that tools such as Firebase, Superbase, or maybe some of these other tools that I mentioned before do not offer, right? Because there needs to be something that they offer that other, other competitors do not offer. So you can take a look and see if this is a good fit for the app that you are developing. The next backend as a service that I want to talk about is called AWS Amplify. And this is from Amazon's AWS. And this allows you to build full stack web and mobile apps in hours. Easy to start, easy to scale. And I actually had some people mentioning in the comments that they wanted me to kind of talk about it because this is viewed by many as like the main Firebase alternative, right? So Firebase is, uh, runs on Google's cloud. This runs on AWS, which is kind of Amazon's infrastructure, right? And so this is another, another awesome kind of feature rich backend as a service, right? It has everything that you need, right? Easily create a backend, connect your app, manage users and content, extend your use cases. There's many, many things that you can do with it. And the most important thing of it all is that they support Flutter, right? They have a Flutter Dart SDK. So this means it's very, very easy to integrate the service with your Flutterflow app. You kind of read more about, more about it here. All the features, right? We have authentication, data store, uh, extensibility, et cetera, et cetera. You can kind of read about it, right? But now you know this is going to be a Firebase competitor. And this also means that it may have some features that Firebase doesn't have, and it can also lack features that Firebase does have. And so you can kind of read more about it, but this is kind of an industry standard from AWS. This is kind of their main offering. If you need, you know, database, storage, authentication, 
uh, real-time updates, you know, um, push notifications, things like that. But the best part of it all is that if you head over to pop.dev and you search for Amplify, you're going to see Amplify Flutter. You're going to see Amplify API. You're going to see bindings that allow you to use AWS Amplify inside of your Flutter Flow app. So for instance, this first result here is Amplify Flutter the top level Flutter package for the AWS Amplify libraries, 138 likes, 98% popularity. So if I was building a Flutter Flow app, and if you guys wanna see a Flutter Flow app using Amplify or any of these tools, let me know in the comments below, like this video so that I see that there is some interest. And so if I was building an app using Amplify, I would probably check out this package first because it's the most popular, but there's other things. There's Amplify Data Store, Amplify Core, lots and lots of different packages and this means that there are people using amplify with their flutter apps and by extension you can use it with flutter flow as well now the next tool i want to talk about is a little bit different and this is one signal okay and this tool is all about push notifications right so if you are building an app and you want to send push notifications you want to send some kind of notifications on mobile on desktop or on the web this is probably going to be the tool that you want to be using because this is kind of a industry standard when it comes to it. Uh, a lot of people use this tool. And so this is the perfect tool if you're doing some kind of notification. And this is what they say, customer messaging delivered, the market leading self-service customer engagement solution for push notifications, email, SMS, and in-app. Okay, and so you can click on capabilities and you can kind of learn more about it, what it does. But but it's safe to say that if you're going to be doing any kind of push notifications, uh, this is going to be the tool you may want to uh, take a look at. So you can do mobile push, web push, in-app, email, SMS, right? And then you can take a look at their features. You can go to API. You can look, you can go into SDKs. We're going to go into both first SDK and then API. So this is SDK right here, SDK for native and cross platform frameworks. And on this page, you will see what kind of platforms they support out of the box, right? So if I scroll down, I can see we got server SDKs here. And if you scroll further, we got cross platform SDKs and we have Flutter here. And so this means that you can easily integrate your Flutterflow app with one signal using their Flutter SDK. And you can probably head over to pub.dev and try searching for one signal to see if there's a package that allows you to use. And here we go, one signal Flutter, 655 likes. It's probably the most popular package, 99% popularity. So now, you know, 100% that you can use this particular backend as a service, one signal with your Flutterflow app by using this SDK package here, right? And this is available for Android, iOS. So you can easily build mobile apps, have them, you know, send out push notifications using one signal. Really, really cool. Next tool I want to show you is called Pushbots. We write the code so you won't have to code in any language you know with the development environment you like. We provide easy to implement SDKs supporting most popular platforms. Okay. So this is another push notification service. Just like one signal, sending push notifications is easy with push bots, and we will walk you through it. Okay, so you can kind of learn more about it, compare it with one signal, uh, check out the pros and cons, which one is better, which one is worse, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And once you're ready, all you have to do is click on solutions, developers. For developers, you're gonna click that. You're a developer, right? You can scroll down and you can see that they support various uh, environments and they also have a powerful API, right? With Pushbots RESTful APIs, you can easily and reliably send push notifications with custom data and seamlessly import advanced features into your current system. That means you can easily use it inside of your Flutterflow app. Last but not least, I wanted to show you another service that you might be interested in. This is called Data Fetcher, okay? Datafetcher.com. And so essentially this allows you to import all kinds of different data into Airtable, right? And so if you're a big user of Airtable, and Airtable is actually really, really nice. It's a it's kind of like spreadsheets on steroids. There's lots and lots of things that you can do with it. And so if you decide to make Airtable your, your main data source, uh, kind of the source of truth, 
right, for your apps. Uh, it has a really nice API. You can use this tool to connect Airtable, right, kind of your main data source if you choose to do that, to all kinds of different components, right? If you click on integrations, you can see that you can connect all of these different things into Airtable. So this tool is different than the other tools that I mentioned, but still I wanted to include this tool in case some of you use Airtable and need a tool to make your life easier and help with all kinds of interesting integrations that you can have with Airtable. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, I'm actually interested in using another backend service. Maybe you're not interested in using Firebase or Superbase. Maybe you want to use Pocketbase or maybe you want to use Enhost, or maybe you want to use AWS Amplify. And in that case, you definitely want to check out our Patreon community because on our Patreon community, you will get access to all the Flutterflow apps that are built in this channel. And that means you can easily view the app and or clone the app. And so if you want to build a Flutterflow app that takes advantage of one of these services, well, it's a lot easier to clone an existing app than building one from scratch. And you can do that after joining our amazing Patreon community. But that's not all. After you join our incredible Patreon community, you will also get access to extra content such as Q and A's, live streams, behind the scenes content, and our Patreon exclusive masterclass series where I do a deep dive on certain topics that the community votes on. And in fact, I'm going to be doing another masterclass episode shortly. We're going to have the community vote on a specific topic of interest, and then I'm going to create a more comprehensive deep dive about that topic. And that's going to be available exclusively to our Patreon supporter. So if that all sounds like something you might be interested in, then you definitely want to check out our amazing Patreon community and consider becoming a member. And you're going to see a link to it in the description below this video. Now, if you guys want to see more interesting backend tools, whether these are Firebase competitors or something else, check out the video you are seeing in the corner of your screen right now. That is another video that I did where I talked about some interesting backend tools that you might want to use with your next Flutterflow app.